successfully managed to become the leader of his own life, no matter what objectives he might face. Please welcome on stage, Iban Nasukhan, who is being be who you are by doing what you can. Thank you very much. So, I'm the guy. Okay. I'll start this uh, talk with introduction. I come from Pakistan, the northern part of Pakistan, to the extreme north with an altitude of 6,000 meters above sea level. Growing up in a place where you have just your basic necessities of life, you don't have the metal walls, you don't know. For, after a long time, I came to know there is something named Facebook. To be very honest, like in 21st century, and many things like the letter. You grow up and you have few options in your head to do in your life. Just going particular towards the studies, you have options like you can go become an engineer, you can go become a doctor, you can go become an army officer, you don't have any other options. I started my education expedition from my valley and then I went to a college that we call a college, you guys call a high school. At Tilgit City, I started studying there as a student of general science. In 2013, I graduated at secondary school. Graduated and I was like going towards my intermediate there, my life changed. For three years, I studied science except the basics, primary and middle school. And I was getting nothing out of it. I was like so confused about it, where my life is taking me, where I'm going towards. I went to people, I asked them, I was confused a lot. I could not explore where I want to go. I wanted to make a difference, I wanted to make a change, but nobody was there to help me out. I was forcefully granted admission, or I was forcefully you know, uh, trying me towards engineering. I want to share an incident. I was sitting in my class of chemistry. My professor, he was talking, teaching me about radius of electron. And everybody, who is science student here? Anybody? Great. So, radius of electron, and I was like, just think about it. Just think about it. Maybe I'm, I might seem like a fool, but I was like thinking, who has, I asked my pro teacher, like, sir, have you have has anybody ever seen atom? He said no. I said nucleus. He said no. I asked proton. He said no. I asked electron. No. He said no. And I said, who saw the radius of the electron? This is all illogical. And he was like, this guy is gone mad. And I said, yeah, I'm gone mad because I don't want to study. I went to my principal in the admission committee and I asked, I asked them, that I want to quit this. I want to quit my college. And they said, you have been here for four years and you are quitting this college. This is the best college in the city. And I said, yeah, I'm going to do that. They said, you should go for medical. I said, okay, I go for medical. I studied medical for one month and a half. And I was again the same, the physics, the bio, and the chemistry. Nothing different. The only difference was map wasn't there and the biology was there. I wanted to do I wanted to make a change. I don't want to study that. Finally, I had five months in my hand for my exams. Out of those five months, I had wasted three months. And I had only two months, excluding the winter vacations before exam, winter breaks. I decided to go to commerce. I decided to go to commerce and everybody, everybody at that point, I explored myself that I'm a commerce guy. I love being practical, I love being playing with finance, I love playing like working, managing, so I was a commerce guy. I decided I can study this very well. But everybody, everybody opposed my dad's here. I was in the middle of nowhere. I had no options. And if you are in a place where you don't have a proper schedule of lighting, like when it goes, when it counts, like you have to study a lot in two, those two months, I had a big challenge in front of me because I had taken my own decision. And when you take your own decision, you are the only one to blame for your failure and you are the only one to enjoy your success. And I wanted to enjoy my success at that point. It's 2014. March 2014, I started as a common student, I worked a lot, I worked a lot, day and night, and I lost my weight, I lost everything, I was like, I was 
simply screwed up, but I wanted, wanted to work hard. And in April of 2014, I gave my paper. July 2014, it was 12 July. I still remember it was midnight, 12 a.m. Suddenly, my result came up, and one of my friends he gave me the result, and he said, "You took the ball." And that was the day. That was the day I realized that. That was the day that my team made. I started working hard. In 2015, I again taught the same for and I showed the people like, this is me who I am. I wasn't the science guy, I wasn't the engineer, I wasn't the biologist, I wasn't the medical doctor, but I am a great finance manager in the future. I said, I can do that. But what happened is, I decided, like, I came up with, when you do something, when you are in the process of doing something, everyone will oppose you. Everyone will say, come on, do. But when you will do, you will achieve something. Everyone will become your friend. Everyone will tell you, wow, he's my cousin, he's my student, he's my friend, he's my uncle, whatever. I don't know how sort of relationship we're going to just create there. They do. And they were expecting me to go to a university, a college, a top, well reputed college. Even some of the guys were expecting me to study abroad. No. I'm not the guy who follows others. I don't want to be a follower. I want to be a person who is followed. I, I went to a college, which you call a college, I call it a university. I went to a university, a local university, which is only 10 years old. Like a young university in the government state of Pakistan. Nobody was again happy what I did. Everybody like, this guy, he's like, he's gone. He can't do anything. He won't be able to do anything. But I worked there. I worked hard. I had a dream. I will be one day. I'll be standing. I'll be representing this that university. I'll be representing my nation. I'll be representing myself in 2018. Today, I am here with you in the United States of America. Out of 13,000 students, I am one of the 108 students to make this opportunity here. Now, again, the same thing. You are a friend of so many people. You are a friend of your, you know, uh, relative to so many people. This is what. I want to tell you about. My dear friends, make your own decisions. I wanted to be a speaker in my life. I am today. I wanted to be a leader in my life. I'm the culture ambassador for my country. I wanted to achieve something in my life. I did a lot. This is what. You always achieve things. You always are an achiever. You always have something in your hand. Just realize that. What do you want to be? If a soccer player wants to score a goal in a match and that's achievement for him, then realize that you did that. And just don't, just don't achieve things. Just don't achieve things. Learn to live them. Learn to live them. Go crazy about your dreams. Like if you were in Manhattan, New York City, you, are, you will see a lot of people. I saw it in the time screen. It was my first experience. There were a lot of people. No one cares what one somebody does and whatever you know, is going on. But some people, somebody came there and he stopped dancing and everybody was, wow, just, just stare and look at him. He is dancing. Why? Because he did something different. He did not do what the crowd was doing. He don't care. He did what he wanted to do and everyone follows him right now. And everyone will be, you know, and if you are traveling in the subway, if you are taking the train, and you will see like a person comes and he starts dancing, and everybody will, wow, he's dancing. What? If you are different, you are the focus. Make the difference. You be the focus. You got me? So follow yourself, follow your dream, and be followed. Follow others and stay at the Thank you very much.